Good morning, everyone. My name is Malcolm McNeil, and I have the pleasure and the privilege of being Dr. Heather Elgood's successor as the director of the SOAS Postgraduate Diploma in Asian Art. Thank you very much for joining us today from all the various locations you're coming from around the world for today's study day in celebration of Hetty's achievements and her accomplishments and the community of alumni of which many of you are part from all across the world. Today's programme includes a series of presentations and a keynote lecture, all of them in honour and in celebration of both Hetty's accomplishments and her legacy, and a celebration of you, the alumni of the Postgraduate Diploma in Asian Art. I'll be with you as an MC and intermittent chair of a number of events throughout the day. Um, and to begin with, I would like to hand over, first of all, to Professor Shane McCausland, the head of the School of Arts, who will then hand over to the director of SOAS, Professor Adam Habib, both of whom will be saying a few words about the programme, about Hetty, and about the future of the programme at SOAS. So Shane, thank you very much for joining us, and over to you. Thank you, Malcolm. Uh, it's my very great pleasure, as the head of the School of Arts, uh, to be here to mark the occasion uh, with this study day in her honour of the retirement of Dr. Heather Elgood, or Hetty as we all know her. Today actually is her very last day, so in fact what better opportunity is there to pay tribute to her distinguished service as the founder and the long-serving director of the SOAS Postgraduate Diploma in Asian Arts. Now holding the event online, uh, we know that so many and probably several hundred, I'm told, colleagues, friends, students, and alumni from all over the world can be here to celebrate her achievements and share their reminiscences and their personal thoughts, as well as obviously talking about the ecosystem of Asian arts. And it's actually a measure of the really great affection and esteem that people have for Hetty, that it will have been a very, very early start for those of you joining from the Americas and a very late night in prospect for those of you in Southeast and East Asia. Now, I first got to know Hetty when I arrived at SOAS, uh, fresh from graduate school in the US back in 1999, and she quickly got me involved in giving lectures on the postgraduate diploma. And right from the beginning of that acquaintance, I could see how what she was building with the diploma even as it was moving short distances around Bloomsbury in those early years, although never very far from its home here at SOAS, was something special and indeed unique. And a large part of what was making it special and unique was of course Hetty herself, her vision, uh, her careful pedagogical focus on students' personal engagement with Asian arts through close experience of actual artworks her ability to communicate the values of the program and to reach new audiences and sustain the alumni with new content, a willingness to stop and listen very carefully to what people were really saying and to remember and act on that. How she also curated the roster of, of lecturers and tutors and the degree to which she cared about the quality of teaching and feedback. And in many ways, these were all the reflexive qualities of the higher education educator, which were well ahead of their time. And with all of those attributes, Hetty's developed a really formidable network of loyal supporters. Uh, the late and much missed Denise Ackford uh, supported Hetty day to day in the diploma office over decades and successive directors of SOAS and heads of department learned that she was someone they should get to know better and listen to, as she was someone who was, who's been deeply committed to and had an outstanding record of enhancing the reputation and the global standing of the institution. And in the last few years, as the head of department, I've had the privilege of working even more closely with Hetty, uh, including as her line manager, although looking back on it, actually, she was probably deftly managing me. Uh, and I've come to see how the entirely merited and yet very lightly worn sense of pride uh, she has in what she's achieved and built over her professional life with the diploma. Now, Hetty wasn't involved in the recruitment of her successor, Dr. Malcolm McNeil, uh, who I should like to acknowledge, along with his team, for their aplomb in organizing today's starry celebration. 
So it was a comfort and a relief to me that Hetty's been pleased to hand over the directorship to Malcolm, uh, he being someone with a tremendous respect for Hetty's distinguished legacy while standing ready to embrace the digital future and bring in his own support team. And as to how to build and run a sustainable program, he's had the chance this last year during the handover to learn from a master. I'm happy to know that I'll continue to work with Hetty in the future. She remains on the board of the Southeast Asian Art Academic Program, SARP, where she'll continue to be a voice for the students and the alumni, and of course, an ambassador for SOAS. So I want to say thank you, Hetty, on behalf of the department for everything you've done for the Department of History of Art and Archaeology and for the School of Arts. We wish you all the very best in your retirement and hope you enjoy this day. And with that, I will now hand over to SOAS Director, Professor Adam Habib. So thank you, Shane. Um, colleagues, friends, uh, Hetty, you know, today we're here to celebrate, if you like, uh, Dr. Algood's uh, academic and institutional contributions, uh, both to SOAS uh, and to the world at large. She's had a, and I was speaking to Hetty earlier on, and her association with SOAS goes just under five decades. And the program's association with SOAS goes uh, just under four decades. And so this is an incredible uh, contribution. And perhaps she's demonstrated incredible citizenship, institutional citizenship uh, to SOAS and broadly more global citizenship uh, to the world of art. Uh, Hetty has played a, a particularly instrumental role in transforming the incredible donation from the Alpha Wood Foundation and um, uh, using it to, to establish what is uh, the premier postgraduate diploma in Asian art uh, around the world. And we want to be particularly uh, thank her for that and for that incredible contribution that she's made, as Shane has, has suggested. Uh, this program has, of course, been supported by our own associations with the British Museum and the Victoria and Albert Museum. Um, this program has trained um, scholars, uh, museum curators, and art professionals around the world. Uh, and you will see many of them featured on our program, on our study. Uh, program today. Uh, the role of speakers across the world uh, actually embody the very diverse possibilities offered by the postgraduate diploma in, in Asian art. Uh, we've got a professor of Indian art and architecture at Jawaharlal Nehru University, uh, from whom you'll hear in a short while, to the head of Chinese ceramics and works of art at Christie's in New York, uh, to a paper conservator at the British Library. These individuals represent only a small number of the incredible alumni that, that Hetty has played an important role in developing and partnering and training uh, over the course of perhaps uh, just under four decades. So we are here to celebrate. I do want to say one other thing because it seems to me important to say this from the perspectives of where SOAS is going. SOAS has just spent the last six months reimagining its strategic agenda. And part of that strategic agenda is to see itself as an institutional interlocutor, to partner with institutions around the world. And what we're saying is in many ways, we're not simply an institution that studies Asia, Africa, the Middle East, but we really want to partner institutions in those parts of the world and look at the global issues of our time from the perspective of the peoples of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. In many ways, Asia, Africa, and the Middle East is the lens through which we confront and think through the global challenges of our time. And uh, Hetty, in many ways, was a, was a forerunner 
of the strategic agenda. In many ways, she assisted through this program in telling the stories of the world, but from the perspectives uh, of, 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 of Asia and through uh, the instrument of art, through the, through the methodology itself of art itself. And, and in a way, uh, she saw what we were going to evolve in long before we did. Now, obviously, we've got to build on that legacy. And we've got to think through how we, in a world where we can actually have digitized technologies that enable teaching beyond institutional boundaries, how we can think through programs that co-curriculate, co-teach, and co-credential. And so in the process, what we establish is a reimagination of higher education so that we can collectively address the global challenges of our time. You know, if anything, this pandemic has demonstrated is we sink or swim, uh, we only will succeed in swimming the challenges of our time if we come together as a collective humanity across national and institutional boundaries. And that's where SOAS is going. And in many ways, that's where this program led by, by Hetty uh, has in many ways uh, prefigured in, in, in many ways. It acted as a forerunner to our strategic agenda. So I want to say uh, to Hetty in particular, but to all of the alumni around the world, uh, to Hetty, thank you for your very, very special contribution to SOAS. Uh, but I think I speak for the entire global alumni community. Thank you for your contribution to Asian Art. Thank you for your institutional contributions uh, to our world and to the broader world of art. And, and to say to you that we hope to continue our relationship, our institutional re relationship with you as you move into retirement. And that this is not going to be a quiet retirement, I hope. It's going to be a very active retirement. Uh, and, and we hope that you will continue to pursue that active retirement through the institution of SOAS uh, in its multiplicity. And to the partners uh, in other institutions around the world, uh, to all of the alumni, we hope to build on Hetty's legacy, to partner your institutions, to co-create with your institutions, and to continue to bring, if you like, to, to bring the world together uh, through the medium of art. So thank you, Hetty. Thank you to all of you. And I look forward to this particular day where we celebrate Dr. Albert's, con uh, 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 Dr. Albert's contribution uh, to SOAS in the world. Thank you. Adam, Shane, thank you both so much for, for your reflections on, on Hetty's contributions to SOAS, for your insights into the, the histories of the program and, and the personal relationships, particularly Shane, that you, you, um, you brought to the fore in your, your comments, but particularly to both of you for your confidence in the SOAS postgraduate diploma in Asian art and your confidence in its future, the, the support that we are working on together to continue Hetty's enormous legacy um, in partnership with the alumni community around the world. And so with, with thanks to both of you, I'd now like to hand over to the, the woman of the hour, um, Hetty Elgood, who is kindly joining us now to introduce our keynote speaker today, Professor Naman Ahuja, and the chair of the Q&A to follow, Dr. Emily Shevelton. So Hetty, over to you to introduce the keynote speaker today. Thank you very much. <laughs> 